Hey everyone. Okay, so I'm coming back to you guys again tonight. I'm just trying to get caught up on my updates. So this wig that I'm wearing right now is a the wig company, and it's called Timeless Wig from the Fashion Club. And uh, this is in a number ten, and it's like a I, I say it's kind of a neutral ash brown, um, but so this wig is in a large. Um, I've decided that large is too big. Even it feels um, like it slides a lot, and I haven't really experienced that too much. Uh, feeling too big like that, but um, anyways. So I just wanted to kind of, I've been, I've wore this wig probably 10 times, maybe, maybe more. Um, I'm mostly wearing it to get my wear because I um, don't like these curls. Uh, I have, I think I have finally made the decision that curls are just not for me. Um, I know everybody likes the curls and they rave about them, but I just, I don't feel that they're flattering to my face. But, um, but I wanted to just come on here and just, you know, give you an update. Um, it's a very comfortable cap. Like I said, um, it's the traditional capless. Um, it weighs 3.5 ounces. The front and top, the, the front here and the top are 10 inches. The sides are 9.5 which you can see where they cut off early. Uh, the back is 10 and a fourth, and the nape is 11. Um, but I don't, I don't know why. I just, I felt like this, this wig was unruly, and I just really couldn't do much with it. Um, even as far as, like, being able to pull it back, I, I felt like I couldn't, I couldn't get it to stay back. I'd put a cat, I'd put a, um, a clip in it, and it would just fall out, and it would just be, kind of unruly but so what I think what I'm going to do with this one which I have washed this and I'm putting it away for the season because I'm moving back into a, not blondes as I explained in my other video but I'm going to move back into a little bit lighter color than this this is definitely a I would say dead of the winter color um it because it is dark so but what I'm going to probably do, like I said, I'm going to pack it up and put it back in its box for the winter. And then maybe next winter, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to thin it out. And maybe maybe put some, not layers, but just kind of thin it out so it's it's more. I, I mean, I, I tried taking like bobby pins and pinning it down. And that worked. But, you know, it would be nice if it would just kind of tame down on its own. So... I'm going to just maybe thin it out, maybe use this as a, a practice wig. Um, so I did look on the wig company's website. They do still have these wigs on their clearance section. And they have blondes, brunettes, and grays. So it's still available. So you can still get one if you like the colors. Um, there's really nothing wrong with it. Um, I can't say anything bad about it other than I just don't personally like these these curls or these waves up against my face. Um, I feel like the straight ones are just a little bit more flattering on my face shape. Um, but anyways, I mean, you guys can let me know what you think. But but like I said, you know, it, it was a fine wig for $34.99. Um, you couldn't beat it. And like I said, I, I have worn it quite a lot. Um, I even wore it out one day to mow the grass. So, I mean... But, like I said, I have washed it, and I have gotten it uh, ready to pack up. So, I'm going to um, pack it up for the for the summer, wear some of my blonder, not blonde, but some of my lighter wigs. Because this one is truly, it, it, it looks like it's got, it says it's an, a solid 10. But it does look like, almost like it has some highlights to it, but it really doesn't. It's really just a dark wig, you know what I mean? So, but, um, but like I said, you know, it was definitely worth the price, and, um, I did get some wear out of it, but, uh, I'm just not happy with that poof on the side there, you know, 
I know there's got to be some remedies, but I think maybe just thinning those sides out and, and maybe next winter when it's time to, or in the fall, when it's time to pull these colors back out, then I'll go ahead and maybe I'll even do it um, like a tutorial on here on a video and uh, show you how I thin it out, which I really haven't thinned a wig out, so this, that would be my first uh, experience. But I do have some experience in cutting hair. Um, I used to cut my husband's and I used to cut my mother-in-law's and, you know, I used to pull my bangs down and cut them and, you know, stuff like that. So, or I'd pull my sides down and, and you know, trim them a little bit. So, I mean, I'm not completely clueless as to how to cut hair, but um, I think I could manage to um, use some thinning shears and thin it out a little bit. And I think that's really all it needs. It just, it just needs, it just needs to be tamed down or something. So I thought maybe I could straighten it and that might have made me happy, but I, I bought one of those, um, I think it's a Vivitar Pro, so it's a Vivitar Pro Salon hairbrush that you blow and I thought maybe I could straighten this but I tried it doesn't it didn't work so I don't know but anyways I just wanted to give you a little update on this and like I said you know if you like it um, it is still available on the wig company's website they're $34.99 and they do have quite a quite a large selection still available so and like I said it, it's a pretty it's, it's pretty lengthy it's just that those curls pull everything up so but anyways um, I just wanted to tell you about it so um, I will talk to you guys later, and I pray the Lord blesses you. Talk to you guys later. Bye.